Well, Sean, the snow has arrived, and it has. but we've got more on the way. There is. It's going to snow through tonight. This is actually not going to be a long-lasting snow, mm -hmm. but it's going to be one that comes in a hurry, and it's going to put down a good amount of snow mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. And the sun's actually going to be out tomorrow morning when you wake up. Crazy. Yeah. But it's going to be messy on the roads. Let's take a look outside. I want to show you. First of all, this is a live view from Marshall, where the snow is coming down at a really good clip right now. This is from our sister station in Sioux Falls. They have a camera at the hospital there and the snow will continue for a while. Marshall actually in a winter storm morning and Wyndham not quite as much. We have a little snow on the ground there, but we're uh, still hanging in there right now in Mankato. Some light rain earlier. We have a few light snow showers happening now, but the snow is going to really pick up here in the next uh, hour or so with the heaviest snow here. I think between about 7 and 11 o'clock tonight. Winter weather advisory in purple from about Minnesota Highway 30 up to I-94. Here is the winter storm warning for Lyon, Lincoln, and uh, Yellow Medicine counties. That's where I think we're going to see some of the heavier snow that falls. But right now, it's actually coming down at a good clip, and we're starting to see this all fill in through here. And then all of this is going to move west to east right over the top of us. So that is going to bring some decent snow. Two to four locally heavier amounts are possible by the time this is all done late tonight. And as I mentioned, the sun Actually going to be out first thing tomorrow morning, but roads will still be snow covered and a bit slippery. Some rain down to the south. We have some rain around Algona, Esterville and Spencer. Algona was in the 50s today. It was quite an interesting day temperature wise, and we'll talk more about that here in just a second. One to two in the light blue, two to four in the dark blue with four to six plus Redwood Falls to Marshall back uh, to the west. And one of the things that we're watching, first of all, a lot of this is going to be melting as it hits the ground, especially at the onset. So that's going to take away from the snow total a little bit. But the other thing that's going to happen is we're going to have little, little very narrow band, I think, somewhere in this area of uh, enhanced snowfall. And there is going to be about a 10 to 15 mile wide little narrow band of where we will probably have some heavier snowfall uh, within that two to four band. So Five, maybe even six possible in a couple of those spots. It will be few and far between, but there will be a few places that do get a little more. Now, this is how it's going to roll through the rest of the evening. That snow is going to continue to develop and move eastward. Mankato, generally 7 to 10, maybe 11 o'clock tonight is when we're going to have some of our heavier snow. Here we are at 8 o'clock. Here we are at 9 by 10 o'clock. And then as we head toward 11, we're going to start to uh, get toward the back edge of that snow. And then most of this is going to exit from west to east by maybe midnight, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning with uh, just about everything east of I-35 by 1 or 2 a.m. Now, by tomorrow morning, the clouds disappear. We have some sunshine, but again, this will still impact the morning commute tomorrow just because there will be plenty of uh, snow and ice on the roads. Look at these highs today, 52 Algona, 45 in Blue Earth, 43 in Waseca, but we have really dropped here in the last while. It's 30 now, north wind at 15. We have a wind chill of 19. and. While we are still in the 40s from Albert Lee to Algona, most of the areas uh, to the north and west have now dropped back below that freezing mark. So bridges and overpasses are becoming slippery. Roads are becoming snow covered and icy. This system will continue to move out. We have a punch of cooler air that's going to actually drop our highs down to uh, below average for a change as we head into Friday and Saturday. And then we do have another system that's going to bring a little more snow. Here we are Thursday at 6 p.m. Thursday night into Friday, maybe an inch or so along and south of the Minnesota Iowa line uh, from Thursday night to Friday. So something else to watch snow tonight, two to four plus possible down to 21 for a low tomorrow. A messy commute. It'll be sunny and cooler throughout the day with a high of 28. And then as we roll into the week, this isn't going to last long. Highs in the low 30s on Saturday, 35 <laughs> Sunday, and then boom, we're right back into the 40s with more sunshine and dry, mild weather. The same stuff we've been enjoying all winter long is going to be the case through most of next week. Right, but a blast of winter. Even hearing yep. you say the word wind chill. I, I like, know. Oh, this it's is winter rare, right now. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Thank you. We'll you be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.